escape. Okay. This is what I think it looks like from the top. Now, granted, I know that I'm going to have some type of restaurant, right? Why do I think that? Why do I think that I'm going to have a rectangle? It's a rectangle on the bottom. It's a rectangle on the bottom. Okay. And then I think I'm going to have a line in the middle of it. Why do you think I think it looks like that from the top? Okay. Yeah, I have a rectangle. Why do I have this line in the middle of it? There's a triangle at the top, but you notice it goes like this. So I have to have a line for that little part right there, all right? How many of y'all got it right? Raise your hand. See, there ain't nothing on it, you cry. All right. Now what we're going to do. is we are going to talk about the Cartesian coordinate plane. Let me tell you what it is. It's just a flat surface that we put points on. That's all it is, a flat surface that we put points on. We're going to have to label it. First of all, it says, label the parts of the Cartesian coordinate system below the column. The x-axis. What do you think we're going to put in where the x-axis go? Right here? So let's put in x right here. And then y is going to go on the top. Does everybody agree? This is called our horizontal axis. This is called our vertical axis. Then it asks us to label our quadrant. This is quadrant 1, and we're going to abbreviate it. Q-U-A-D. And it goes counterclockwise. So this is quadrant two. This is going to be quadrant what? Three. And then the next one, four. Now I want you to label the origin. Where is the origin at? Where is the origin at? The very middle, right here. That is zero, comma, zero. And this is our origin. I guess it wants like this. How about that? Now it asks us the coordinates of the origin, and then when the x is positive and negative, and y is positive and negative. So in other words, x right here is going to be positive, right? And this up here is going to be positive, right? So that means whatever numbers are going to be here, they're going to both be positive. They got me? Well, I think uh, it's going to be Yeah, but I mean the origin too. So I want to put both. If you put the zero, 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 that's fine. All right, then this is going to be, what's x going to be on this side? Bless you. Negative. Negative. What is y going to be? Positive. Positive. What about over here? What's x going to be? Negative. Negative. And then negative. negative. What about this over here? Positive. Positive. Negative. Yes. I like it with the zero, zero. What about you, Eric Gordon? Let's see what it has a little coordinates right here. That's what Dave was saying, right? Yeah, that's what he's saying. I see what you're saying. So we're supposed to put origin and then the coordinates. So we got all labels. Everybody got it all right? This is our review, right? All right, let's move down. So Blank is used to graph the relationship between the quantities. It's composed of two numbers called the x-axis and the y-axis. Okay. Um, we'll say the coordinate C O O R D I N 
A blank or blank is written as X, Y, or X and F, X, Y, or X and F that can then be located in any quadrant on X or Y. No, another way to write Y is F is X. What about a ordered pair? Nothing. Ordered pair. I'm aware now. So I raised that. You can see him at all? Coach. Coach. Which one are you talking to? Me. What is the name of that file that you wrote on right there? Cartesian one. No. Cartesian notebook? No, 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 just the notebook. It's in the notebook? It's in the notebook. It's in the notebook on the smart book. That's it. So I'm trying to, because that's on the smart, you have your boost system, so that's either. Yeah, yeah, it's smart board notebook, you can do it. Smart board notebook. Oh. Yeah. So that's the order there. Now, what it says Y and F and X are the same thing. Y can be graphed as a point or a set of points. For the set of order pairs in which quadrant would these be located? So we're talking about blank can be graphed. What do I mean? What do you think can be graphed? The location. What else do you think we can put there? We'll put in relation. I'm not sure what they want, but I'm going to make sure. Okay, what would negative two, positive three, what quadrant would that be in? Well, we have a negative and a positive. Which quadrant is that? Look at your graph. Which one has a negative and a positive? Quadrant four. Quadrant four has a positive and a negative. Three. Three has a negative. What about zero, zero? That's the what? That's the what? Origin. What about a positive and then a negative? Positive and then a negative. Which one is that? Positive four. What about a zero, three? Zero three would be on the y axis. That's the y intercept. Yeah, zero three. That'd be on the y axis. So that'd be in one and what? Two. But we're going to say it's a y intercept. Why do I say it's a y intercept? Because we're on both. It's on y axis, so we don't really care if it's y. The 
it says the blank of the relationship is a set of permissible x values. Notation for domain. So the domain is what we're using for here. Domain D O M A I N. Domain. 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 There it is. Domain. Remember I told you you have domain and range? Domain is the x value. All right, uh, domains can be continuous or discrete. Blank data is individual points that would not be connected. That is discrete. D I S C R E T E. has infinite points that are connected when graph because their little numbers can be defined by a domain, a solid line, or interval. This is our continuous. C O N T I N U O U S. Continuous. So we have domain, we have discrete, and we have continuous. Now, what do you think we're going to fill in here? If this is domain, this has to be the what the stuff is in R. Do I remember? Range. R A N G E. Range. So domain are my x values. That's the ones going left to right. Range is my y values going up and down. Relations in which each element of the domain is paired exactly one element of the range is called, this is a function. F U N C T I O N. Function. If a set of data is a function, write this down. No x values will repeat. What does repeat mean? Over and over. So I will have a. Uh,
no exercise or receipt. Also, that would mean that no donation will be okay? So no domain value. So no exercise or receipt, no domain value. Aren't exercise and domain the same thing? So X values and domain are the same thing. Y values and range are the same thing. So if anybody hears somebody say range, you know they're talking about the y axis. If anybody says domain, they're talking about the x axis. Function analogy, I just read the story. Consider the domain to be a set of people on the bus. Think of each bus stop along the way as the range. The function of the bus is to deliver people to their respective destination. It is possible for two or more people to get off at one bus stop. Why? However, it is not possible for the same person to get off at two different bus stops. So, like, for instance, if I lived at um, Walmart and I get dropped off at Walmart, that means I would not get dropped off at Harvard. Are you following? Yeah, I'm already off the bus. So I can only get dropped off at Walmart, not at where? So that means I have only one. And then I'm in trouble. It says if the Y value increases as the X value increases, the function is increasing. Increasing. I N C R E A. S I N G. If the Y value decreases as the X value increases, what's the opposite of increasing? Decreasing. There we go. Is a set of as a set of ordered pairs to form x and y. So I did that right there. In miles and intersections, is there a relation between the miles to school and the intersections cross? Y'all remember when we did that? Y'all remember how far I lived and how many intersections there were? Were there was there a relation? Yeah, four. Like three yeah, four like three miles, some miles away. Was there a relationship between the two? No, I didn't ask if there was a pattern. Was there a relationship? Yeah, there was. Yes, there was a relation because There were two numbers. And those two numbers made up X and Y, correct? Yeah, but yes, sir. What about like Y? Yeah, but we're not we're not talking about uh, we weren't talking about did they make a line. We're talking about did they relate to each other. Well, yeah, I had a certain amount of miles and there were intersections. You had a certain amount of miles, there were intersections. He had a certain amount of miles, there were intersections. So there was something going on. Now, did they have a pattern? No. And burning calories were their relation. Yes. Same thing, right? Yes. So we say 
yes, there was a relation because there were two numbers. And that was with a coordinate, remember? Relation and dependence both describe how coordinates can be connected. How are the two ideas different? Now, on a relation, The Y does not depend on A. In other words, how far we live didn't tell us how many intersections we're going to get. Okay? However, dependent. Means Y has an X. So, for instance, when we were talking about walking yesterday, I think it was what four four kilocalories, something like that, four kilocalories. Well, if it had something, if I walk for a certain amount of time, I was going to burn more calories. So it depends on how long I walk, how many calories I was going to burn. See the difference? It doesn't matter how far I live. I don't know how many intersections I'm at. The intersections are dependent on how, how far I live. Y'all see the difference between the two? How far, I mean, I'm sorry, how long I walk and how many calories I burn depend on each other. You see what I'm saying? Okay, the last page is your homework. There are two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight questions. Actually, it's only seven questions. You're going to have to read them, and then you're going to have to write the sentence. Do everybody understand? Do you understand what I meant about depending on each other? You depend on me to do what? Teach, teach you the lesson. What do I depend on you to do? Subtract. Do I expect you to get everything right? No. no. Do I expect you to try? Yeah. Yes. Do I expect you to give your best effort? Yeah. Okay. 